No matter how powerful your ham radio is, it's only as good as the antenna you connect it to. A solid HF antenna means better range, less noise, and way more reliable contacts, even when conditions aren't ideal. And this year, we have some seriously impressive options. I've narrowed it down to the six best HF antennas available right now that can keep your signal strong, whether you're at home, in the field, or on the move. You'll find links to the best prices for all the HF antennas mentioned in this video in the description and top comment. Also, these antennas aren't ranked in any specific order, so be sure to watch until the end to find the one that best fits your needs. Number six is the Moonraker LulTD GPA80. This is the most budget-friendly option on our list. It's a vertical HF antenna that covers from 80 meters all the way up to 6 meters, which means you're transmitting frequencies from 3.5 to 54 megahertz and receive coverage from 2 to 90 megahertz, which is a pretty wide range for the price. Plus, it has a small footprint and it won't eat up much space in your yard. The antenna itself is lightweight, which makes installation less of a headache. For grounding, it prefers using the coax cable as the ground plane. You can add a radial plate if you want, but you need to buy that separately. Moonraker recommends pairing it with an external tuner for best results, though. For some people, internal ATUs work fine, but having an external one seems to squeeze out more performance. The power handling goes up to 400 watts, which is plenty for most setups at this level. And the build quality is where you start to notice the budget side. The mount is aluminum, and some of the connections can feel a little rough. If water seeps in, it can affect performance, so keeping an eye on it is a good idea. Plus, if you're new to antennas, setup might take some trial and error. However, for the price, the GPA80 provides solid coverage and an easy way to get on HF without spending a lot. Number 5 is the DX Engineering XB5 Hex Beam HF Antenna. This is the most premium option on our list. If you have a budget and want something that delivers great quality, this antenna is for you. The design of this antenna might look a little unusual compared to a standard beam, but that's because it's packed with a lot of engineering to make it both strong and efficient. It's made with stainless steel throughout the frame. The center post and spreaders are fiberglass, which adds flexibility while keeping it sturdy. You don't have to drill into anything during setup, Everything clamps into place using stainless hardware, so the structure stays solid. Now it comes as a complete kit. You'll get the studs, the mount, the ballon, and all the hardware in the box. The manual is actually really detailed too, which helps a ton with something this complex. However, it's not a quick afternoon project. You'll likely spend a couple of days putting it all together. But once it's up, the XB5 works across the 2017, 15, 12, and 10 meter bands. The 20 meter band can sometimes need a little tweaking to get the SWR down, but overall it performs with low noise and clean signals. It also handles the full legal power limit with no issues. Price-wise, it's in the premium range, but for those who want a premium directional antenna, the XB5 more than earns its spot here. Number four is the Foul Weather Whip Antenna V2. This is the most durable all-weather HF antenna on our list. This one stands out because it can improve your range a lot as compared to the standard antennas that usually come with handheld radios. Many tests show the WIP V2 can turn a weak signal into a clear one, even from miles away. That extra reach can make a real difference in the field. The design is built for rough conditions. It's made to handle rain, wind, or any kind of weather without giving up performance. The long whip style also gives it better efficiency for transmitting and receiving signals, which is why you'll notice such a clear jump in range. It's also lightweight and easy to swap in, so if you're carrying a handheld, you don't have to mess around with a complicated setup. Just screw it on and you're good to go. And for people who want to pair it with gear, the company also makes holsters that come in different finishes, like camo, which is nice if you're outdoors often. Price-wise, it's not the cheapest whip antenna out there, but if you consider the durability and the range boost you get, it's a solid value, especially if you want an antenna that won't quit when the weather turns bad. And if you want to know the latest prices for the HF antennas discussed in this video, be sure to click the links below. And if you're enjoying this video, we would love it if you could hit the subscribe button.
Number three is the Super Elastic Signal Stick. This is the most lightweight HF antenna on our list. This antenna is made from nitinol. This is very flexible and you can bend it, twist it, even wrap it up like a pretzel, and it'll always snap right back into shape. This makes it way more durable than a standard whip, especially if you're carrying your radio in a bag or throwing it into a case for travel. It's a quarter wave dual band antenna, so it works on both two meters and 70 centimeters. And even though it's lightweight, the performance is right on par with most other quality quarter wave antennas. SWR readings usually sit around 1.1 on two meters and about 1.25 on 70 centimeters, which is solid for reliable contacts. Another nice touch is the glow in the dark tip. It's small, but it helps you avoid poking yourself in the dark or fumbling around at night. And if you're into hiking or doing soda activations, this antenna is easy to fold up, toss in your pack, and then deploy once you're at the summit. They also back it with a lifetime warranty. If it ever breaks, they'll replace it. And in the US, they even cover return shipping. Overall, it's one of the best lightweight options if you want something flexible and beginner friendly without spending much. Number two is the Spool Tenna. This is the most compact HF antenna on our list. The design of this antenna makes it very interesting. It's an NFED half-wave antenna that covers 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters. But instead of carrying loose wire and parts, everything is wound onto a spool. You just pull it out, clip it up, and you're on the air. It takes longer to open a folding table than it does to set this thing up. The spool holds about 60 to 65 feet of silicone wire, and it even comes with 25 feet of RG316 coax that has a built-in one ratio one choke. That choke helps cut down on stray RF, and if you're not using a counterpoise, the coax shield itself can act as one without messing with your radio. I like that each unit is factory tested, so it shows up with an SWR under 1.5 to 1 across all four bands. That means you can get on the air without constant adjustments. It's also very lightweight at around 12 ounces, so it's perfect if you're hiking or packing light. You also get a full manual, a quick reference card for the field, and even access to an online group where people share tips and setups. That's pretty rare for something this portable. Right now, the Spool Tenna sells for about $150 pre-built, or you can download the open source files and make one yourself if you're handy. Number one is the DX Commander Signature 9HF. This is the best overall HF antenna on our list. It's a nine meter tall vertical, about 29 and a half feet. It's built to cover the most popular bands right out of the box from 40 meters down to 10 meters. You can even push it further to 80 meters if you add a simple horizontal inverted L wire. Plus there's room to work with 30 meters too if you've got a tuner. The build quality is top notch. The driver and spreader plates are marine grade materials. The poles are fiberglass and the alloy plates use a solid 5251 alloy which means it's rugged, weather-ready, and looks like a well-built piece of gear. Now, the design is a fan dipole. You can run up to 120 radials if you want to max it out, though it works well with fewer. And because of how it's put together, the noise handling is excellent. You get clean signals, very low noise levels, and solid SWR across bands. It can handle plenty of power too, almost up to 1450 watts on SSB and about 375 watts digital. However, the setup does take a bit of effort and some know-how, but the instructions from DX are detailed enough to guide you through. Once it's up, it's efficient, reliable, and one of the strongest all-around performers you can get. And that's all for today's lineup. I hope this list helped you decide on the perfect HF antenna. And if you found this video valuable, we would love it if you hit the subscribe button. If you found the one you like, don't forget to check the description for links to each antenna. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.